This is horizontal subtraction 2, in which you will learn how to subtract 2. In this book, you will do 4 pages per day. Your goal is to do all 4 pages in 4 minutes or less, with 4 mistakes or less. Have your parents grade your homework and practice oral facts every day for faster progress. Practice oral facts before your work so your brain can warm up and so you will memorize your facts. To practice oral facts, go down one column and just say the answers out loud. Have someone listen to you to see if you are correct. Then go back up the column. Practice every day to be fast. Your goal is to go one way in 10 seconds. Do both columns. Let's do the first few together. 5, 1, 7, 3. On this first page, we will learn how to subtract 2. Let's look at the bottom of this page. On the first problem, we have 5 minus 2. Well, to subtract 2, think about what is two numbers before. So, what is two numbers before 5? Well, 4 is one number before 5, and 3 is two numbers before 5. So, 3 is two numbers before 5, meaning 5 minus 2 equals 3. Let's do one more. Next to it, we have 10 minus 2. So, once again, 9 is one number before 10, and then 8 is two numbers before 10. So, 10 minus 2 equals 8, because 8 is two numbers before 10. So, now let's go on to the next page, and we can practice some more subtracting 2. But first, notice that this page goes in order. This is to help you learn and memorize your facts. So now let's do the first one. Here we have 2 minus 2. Well, two numbers before 2 is 0. So 2 minus 2 equals 0. Following that is 3 minus 2, which equals 1, because 1 is two numbers before 3. After that is 4 minus 2, which equals 2, and 5 minus 2, which equals 3. So now, on page 5, we are going to work on picture problems. Let's first read the directions. They say, write a number sentence for each picture problem. So now let's do an example. On this first problem, we have four birds. And then we see that two flew away. So we had four, and now we're going to take away two, so we're subtracting two. So four minus two equals two. So there are two birds left. Now let's work on the picture problem beneath that. Here we have seven birds to start out with, and then two flew away, so we have seven minus two. So how many birds are left? Well, seven minus two equals five, so there are five birds left. So now let's look at the bottom of the same page. Here we have one number on the left and the solution on the right. So, we need to figure out what plus 2 equals 8. Or, another way to figure it out is to subtract 2 from 8. So, 8 minus 2 equals 6. So, 6 plus 2 equals 8. So, now let's practice subtracting with double digit numbers on page 9. First, we have 2 minus 2, which equals 0. Beneath that, we have 12 minus 2. Well, notice that 12 is 10 more than 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10 more than 2 minus 2. So 12 minus 2 equals 10, which is 10 more than 0. So now let's look at the bottom of the same page. First, we have 7 minus 2, which equals 5. Beneath that, we have 17 minus 2. 10 more than 7 minus 2. So 17 minus 2 equals 15. 10 more than 5. So now let's go on to the next page, which is a drill page, and we'll work on some more subtraction with double digit numbers. Let's look at number 11 first. Here we have 7 minus 2, which equals 5. Below that is 12 with 17 minus 2, which equals 15, 10 more than 5. So beneath that, we have 8 minus 2, which equals 6.
Below that is 18 minus 2, 10 more than 8 minus 2, which equals 16. And now let's go on to 9 minus 2, which equals 7, and then 19 minus 2, which equals 17, 10 more than 7. Now we'll work on fact families on this page. Here we have the addition problem, 4 plus 2 equals 6. We'll use these same numbers to create a subtraction problem. One approach to this is to work backwards from the addition problem. So we'll have 6 minus 2 equals 4. You can see the same pattern on the next couple of problems, 2 plus 4 equals 6 and 6 minus 4 equals 2. Notice how the subtraction problem is the opposite of the addition problem. Let's work on a few more. Here we have 3 plus 2 equals 5, and once again we will use this problem to fill in the blanks on the subtraction problem beneath it by working backwards. So we'll have 5 minus 2 equals 3. Now we'll go on to the problem next to that, we have the addition problem 2 plus 3 equals 5, and we know that 5 goes into the blank of the subtraction problem because of working backwards on the addition problem. So now we'll go on to the next page and work some more with fact families. Let's focus on number 7 first. Here we have 4 plus 2, which we know equals 6. Beneath that, we need to figure out what goes in the blank. So using the addition problem above it, 4 plus 2 equals 6, we can work backwards. So 6 minus 2 equals 4. The answer is 6. All right, let's go on to number 17. Here we have 17 plus 2, which equals 19. So working backwards on number 18, we know that 19 goes in the blank, and 19 minus 2 equals 17. Remember, for success in this book, you need your parents to grade your homework daily and practice oral facts daily.